What's up guys, we are here in the Melbourne CBD. I'm up here for a video shoot with Optimum. Um, I've just checked into my Airbnb and I've definitely brought the Tasmanian weather to Melbourne. It is bleak outside. Um, <clears throat> finished the video shoot earlier today, which the footage is here. Um, there's some really exciting campaigns coming up in Australia over the next three months. Um, I do have quite a lot of news, quite a lot of catching up to do with you guys. Um, it is about 6pm right now, Friday night on the Melbourne CBD, so it is pretty booming. Everyone driving home from work. I'm about to meet up with a friend and go to have dinner as I haven't eaten anything, barely anything today due to the video shoot which went from I flew out from Tassie at 8 a.m. got into the CBD at oh sorry the the gym the gym shoot site at 10 30 11 and I've been there since 11 to 4 ish and it's now yeah 4 and it's now nearly 6 so it did take quite a long time to get all the shooting done um, that, stuff, that stuff will be coming out on micro sites and other places uh, around October time, so it still has about a month left until um, that happens. But I do have some more news in regards to whereabouts I'm travelling off to next. If you haven't already seen it on um, my Instagram and my Facebook page, uh, I'm heading off to America in the next week. Um, for those of you who follow bodybuilding and fitness, that sort of stuff, the Mr. Olympia Expo is next Friday, the uh, 17th, I believe, of, of uh, September. So I'm going over to Las Vegas to participate in the Mr. Olympia contest. No, I'm joking. It's the, the Expo. So I'm going to be hanging on the Optimum Nutrition Expo booth much like I was at the Arnold Classic in Australia for those who watched those videos. Um, so it's going to be a really, really, really fun time. Um, I'm still sort of like umming and ahhing if, if, if it's going to be what I anticipate it to be. Um, so if anyone's out there going to be attending the expo, please come out and say hello. I believe it's going to be a really hectic weekend. Um, so the first time I've ever left Australia, so flying from a little Hobart town in Tasmania to Vegas is a very big contrast in in cultures and I guess in energies as well. So um, it is Friday, I do fly out on Wednesday, so I'm spending about four and a half days in the Melbourne CBD. Um, just going to be chilling out here, going to the gyms eating some good food before I go over to Vegas. And then the plan after the expo is still on the lowdown, but um, you'll be hearing much more about that very, very soon. But for now, I do need to go get some food and I will check in with you later.
I just got back from my first real day here in Melbourne. Um, you, as you can see, all of my stuff, I'm living out of a suitcase right now. Uh, you would have seen the workout footage that I had earlier. Um, Optimum have given me a box of these new protein sticks that <coughs> are an exclusive uh, Australian product. Um, so they've asked myself and Michael Roberts, who's also another um, Timo and athlete, to ship these over to Vegas with us to the Mr. Olympia Expo so that we can get people's opinions on the taste which I've already had, they've been out for about a month and I've had all of the flavors and they're modeled after three different flavors um, or three different other chocolate bars I should say so it's like Cherry Ripe, Mars Bar and Milky Way which for some people in America may not know what those flavors are um, but I feel like the flavors that Optima have done have really matched it after doing my shopping, you would have seen well, something really, really cool happen and it's really like uplifting and sort of like positively reinforcing why I'd sort of do these sort of things. Um, just literally just after that footage of the people playing guitar, as soon as I stopped f filming that, um, that video, a lady was standing in front of me and I, and I looked up, smiled at her and looked back down at my phone I think I did and then I looked up again and she was still looking at me and she said are you James and I of course I had said yes and then she just started crying um, because she follows my my stuff she follows my Instagram and my Facebook and I'm sure about YouTube but she said that she followed most of my Instagram stuff and she just said how much it helped her with her own sort of things I think she went over some stuff she was going through with her own mental or medical I should say um, experiences and it was just really really nice to have that sort of feedback um, about how what I've done and what I've been doing recently over the last few years has really actually has an impact on people and um, positive positively helps them with their own sort of things um, so that was an incredible experience. I was just sitting there on the stairs filming those musicians and then that happened. So I spent about half an hour or so talking to her and I went and met her husband who was at work and yeah, there's not really much words I can really say to sort of express that feeling of knowing how, knowing that you've helped someone. But um, yeah, she wasn't... <laughs> She told me she wasn't even aware that I was in Melbourne until she saw me sitting down and checked her phone and saw all my Instagram stories and then um, mustered up the courage to say hello. I'm in Melbourne for another three days, three full days, um, and I think I'm going to go back to the gym now for my second session of the day because besides yesterday's training, oh, yesterday's photo shoot, which was basically a very, very small uh, amount of exercises specifically just for filming I missed yesterday's training session so I need to go back back and sort of get that volume back in Just finished up a quick push workout at Doldy City Gym, which is back there. It is about 7 p.m. here in Melbourne, so the nightlife is just about to go off. Um, I was sitting there during one of my sets of my workout, and I was just reflecting back on um, if some of you have been following my stuff for a while, you would know that um, I have a video out there called 
um, my last workout before transplant or something like that um, where I was training with my friend at the exact same gym and I was just looking at places in the, in, in the gym where I could remember um, where some of the footage was. So I'll try and copy it into uh, this clip right now but I was just thinking like how far things have come in what is it 16 months or so literally doing a, my last workout before having one of the most intensive operations well, it's not really an operation I guess procedures known to man and now here we are a year and a half later about to go over to the world's biggest bodybuilding show so it was really like a reflective like poignant moment I guess for myself this elevated lighting though whoa whoa So here I am, trying to find Doherty's Brunswick, which is the gym that I trained at when I was finishing my treatment, which some of you may have seen in previous videos. And I have no idea how the public transport system here works, like the maps or which trams to catch. So I've ended up out here, which doesn't seem like much, but back there, Behind those trees is the Royal Melbourne, Royal Children Melbourne, <laughs> Royal Melbourne Children's Hospital, um, which I've been to a few times back last year because um, I went to visit some people, and so it's a bit of a familiar thing. But the gym is apparently three kilometres down this way, which I'm going to meet a guy called Mark, who I've been friends on Facebook for a few years with, um, who's been through. A very similar thing that I have um, basically um, I may double check this with him but he has had a, a bone marrow transplant also um, prior to myself and I remember prior to my transplant happening he reached out to me and said something like let me know if you need any if you have any questions or need any help throughout this whole thing which is a really nice gesture for him so um, I put up a Instagram story saying I'm I'm in Melbourne for a few days so if anyone wants to hit a training session then let me know so he sent me a message and we've arranged to meet at this gym which has proven to be a bit of a conquest to actually get to but it's still quite a nice walk but I don't know how I'm gonna be able to train legs after finishing off a 3k walk but it is still really nice view. I can't sit, tell if you can see the city from here. So that's the main Melbourne city and I, my apartment's somewhere over there I think. Um, the kids hospital and the Royal Melbourne hospital which is where I stayed is all the way back there. I still have probably another two kilometers to walk. I may get an Uber or may try and jump on a tram but hopefully I get there in one piece. And
Just finished my final workout here in Melbourne. It is about 11.30 here, and I'm walking back to my apartment. The nightlife here is always booming, I've found. Um, but I had to get a quick workout in because, well, today's been pretty, pretty strange in the lead up to my flight tomorrow morning. I fly out at 9.30 a.m. Um, and I've had this recurring sort of nightmare thought that I'm gonna sleep through my alarm. So, <clears throat> I intend to actually stay awake until my flight, which is in 10 hours, um, because this thought is just going through my mind, I'm just going to sleep through my alarm, I'm going to miss my flight. So, I'm staying up, I'm going to get home in about 2 minutes, and then I will edit this video. Hopefully the internet is good enough to, to be uploaded immediately, if not it will be done in Vegas when I land. Um, but if not, all these videos will be slightly backdated, but the next time you see me after this video, I'll be in Vegas.